Hi, my name is Mr. D, and today I want to take a look at how to divide radical expressions. So we have write the following expressions in simplest radical form, and we'll start with the first example. We have 12 radical 24 divided by 3 radical 2. Now when we're dividing radical expressions, to keep this simple, just remember that you're going to divide the numbers outside the radicals, and you're going to divide the numbers inside the radicals. So if we call this step one, for step two, notice we're doing 12 divided by 3 because those two numbers are outside the radical. And 12 divided by 3 is 4, and now we're going to divide the numbers inside the radical, and we keep the radical symbol there since those numbers are in fact inside the radical. So we're doing 24 divided by 2 is 12. And now it's tempting to stop here, but remember we always need to look at the radical and see if it's in simplest radical form. And radical 12 we could continue to break down. So we could go over and we make a list of our perfect squares and we're trying to find the largest perfect square factor that will divide into 12. So we look through this list and we'll see that the biggest perfect square that will factor or break 12 down will be 4. So we're going to rewrite this. We'll call this line 3 as 4 times, and instead of radical 12, we're going to break it into radical 4 times radical 3. Remember, we could break a radical into two other radicals and attach them by multiplication. Since 4 times 3 equals 12, we could rewrite radical 12 as radical 4 times radical 3. But now the goal or the reason behind this, that we did this, was to get one of these radicals to simplify. You notice the square root of 4, the second piece, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So we could write this as 4 times 2 times radical 3. So the final result, 4 times 2, gives us 8. So our final answer is 8 radical 3. So remember, the goal is we divide the numbers outside the radicals and we divide the numbers inside the radicals and then it just goes back to simplifying radicals. And for the first example we have 8 radical 3. Now for the second example this is a little bit trickier, but think of this 5 divided by 10, this simplifies to 1 half. So we could cross out 5 and 10 and we'll replace the 10 with the 2 because 5 over 10 in general reduces to one half. So this is why we're going to cross out the 5 and 10 and replace the 10 with a 2. So now as we move towards the next line we could call this 1. For line 2 we're dividing 54 divided by 2. Remember we divide the numbers inside the radicals and 54 divided by 2 is 27. So we have radical 27 but remember in the denominator we still have 2. Okay? So just to recap, we did 54 divided by 2 is 27, and since 5 over 10 reduces to 1 half, we're going to write this 2 in the denominator. But now once again, we have to look at our list of perfect squares, and the goal is to break down 27, and the largest perfect square factor of 27 is going to be 9. So we write for our next line, instead of 27, we could call it radical 9 times radical 3, and we still have to put all of this over 2. So now as we move towards the next part of this problem, all we need to think about is what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 equals 3. So to rewrite this expression here, we have 3 radical 3 divided by 2. Okay, remember the goal every time we get a perfect square underneath the radical we'll get a whole number to pop out. So that's the goal here that in this case we had radical 4 and a 2 popped out since the square root of 4 is 2 and here we had square root of 9 and the result was the whole number 3. And this is going to be in simplest radical form. Remember to check that our answers are in simplest radical form we look at the number under the radical and 3 does not have a perfect square factor other than 1 so it cannot be broken down any further. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on dividing radical expressions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.